Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add custom sidebars to your WordPress website. Uh, this is a tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and e-marketing tutorials give you the keys to your web presence and put you in the fast lane to success. Learn more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. Alright, so sometimes it might be necessary to have um, a different sidebar. This is this column here from, you know, page to page. Um, on the pages that have a sidebar, see, so you have about, so the about page and the videos page have the same sidebar right now. We want, you know, about page to have its own sidebar. Um, if you need to skip ahead at any time, there is a table of contents below uh, where you can skip to a point if you've already seen this video or you just kind of already know what you're doing but are stuck on one step. All right, so. My goal is I want to have a separate sidebar for the About Us page. You may, as you're doing it, want to have a separate si sidebar for every page, and you can do that, but we really only need to, to demonstrate one, um, and then you can go take it from there. So first you're going to go to your dashboard. Um, you do need a plugin to do this. So go to Plugins and hit Add New. Uh, another thing I want to say, too, is some themes come with the ability to to do custom sidebars, so just check your theme and see if that is already there. If not, then this is when you would have to use this plugin. Um, but if you already have it, if, if the theme already comes with it, then you're better off just um, you're better off just using that because uh, you never know. You could you could end up making it so they don't work or something. But anyway, so go right to custom sidebars. Just want to throw that in there and search custom sidebars. I also put a link in the bottom uh, in the description of the video. Uh, if you want to download the plugin directly and upload it yourself. But if you search custom sidebars, it should be the first one that comes up. It's just called custom sidebars. Install. Okay. Once that's done, just hit activate. The first thing you're going to do is go over to the left and go to appearance and then go to custom sidebars. You want to pick the sidebar you're going to want um, these to be replacing. So usually there'll be only one. You can even do custom footers if you want, but for me it's going to be the main sidebar. So you hit side main sidebar on your theme it might be called sidebar or whatever. You could also just highlight them all if you wanted to be able to customize them all, but typically you would just do main sidebar. Hit save changes. Okay. So that's added. Now you want to, in the new sidebar, say about us. And here you say about us, dash us. You can't have any sidebar. And then hit create sidebar. And that's going to create the sidebar. Now you're going to want to configure your widgets for that sidebar. So go to widgets. And here it is. You'll notice that it's been added to the, to the widgets. So you have main sidebar and you have about us. Now I want to have... I want to get that out of there. I want to have a custom menu for the about page, so I'm going to put that in. Let's see, sub nav, and you're going to go about sub nav, hit save. You can put whatever you want in, but I do want to make it so it's different from the others. And now I'm just going to add in, how about a, um, a calendar on the about page? Calendar. Okay. Now let's just now what you have to do next is go to the about page because you need to make just by saying about page isn't going to associate it with that page so you go into pages go to about us okay and you'll see in the side here keep scrolling you see sidebars and right now it has the main but you change it to the about us okay and now that's changed let's view the page. And there it is, the calendar. And now if you notice, if I go to the videos page, it has a completely different stuff in the sidebar. It's as easy as that. And there are sub pages under the About Us page, like sub one. And what you want to want to do is associate that same sidebar since it's under About. So what you want to do is go about, hit About Us. And there. Not just make you want to make it so all the sub pages of about us have the same sidebar. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want, but I would. <laughs> all right, so that's how you do it. Um, 
I'll be showing another plugin pretty soon that it's a little more it's a little more complicated, but it's a little bit I like it a little bit better than having to do a sidebar for every page. But if you want to just add a simple way to add custom sidebars for certain pages, that's the way to do it. Um, just helps because this content's always going to be changing. Sometimes you don't want this to always be completely static and not changing. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys to web presence, put you in the fast link success. Plenty more on our site at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. We also provide support. If you need help, let us know. Um, if it's something that I can explain in an email, I'll send it back. If not, um, we could just work, consider working together and, you know, we're pretty fairly priced on uh, getting this stuff configured. All right. So until next week, uh, good luck.